In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install MCMyAdmin2 on Windows. After you start the installer, you'll be presented with the MCMyAdmin2 installation wizard. Make sure you read the license agreement before you continue. Once you've done that, the installer will quickly check the state of your system to make sure you can run MCMyAdmin2. When picking the installation directory, make sure it's somewhere that MCMyAdmin can read and write to. Generally you shouldn't change your setting unless you need to. The install will now download the latest version for you. This should only take a moment. Next you need to provide a password for the default admin user. Make sure it's fairly strong so it can't be easily guessed or brute forced. If you need to change the port that the MCMyAdmin web server listens on, you can change this here. You can also change the IP address the MCMyAdmin web server uses on systems with multiple IP addresses. MCMyAdmin is now installed and ready to run. There will be a brief delay while MCMyAdmin downloads the latest version of the Minecraft server for you. Once you're at the login screen, log in with the username of admin and the same password you specified during the setup. You're now logged into the main MCMyAdmin interface. As the administrative user, you have complete control over the server. The first thing you want to do is go to the Configuration tab and begin setting up your server. The first thing you want to look at is the game settings, which controls the game mode, the difficulty, and other settings that will affect gameplay. Next, the server settings will control how the server behaves. You can change the world seed, what type of server it is, and if you choose buckets, which release stream you'd like to be on. You can also change the number of players. On the personal edition, this is limited to 8 players. The professional and enterprise versions do not have a player limit. From the Preferences tab, you can change the look and feel of MCMyAdmin. These are stored in the browser cookie, so they'll persist between sessions, but you'll need to reset them on each different browser or device you use. The Login Users tab lets you add extra users to MCMyAdmin. Note that this cannot be done on the free personal edition, but is supported under Professional and Enterprise. From the Users and Groups tab, you can control in-game permissions. This will be gone over in more detail in a separate video. The Status tab is where you can view the current state of the server and start and stop it. Let's start it now. The Minecraft server will restart a few times as MCMyAdmin applies configuration changes to it. It's normal for this to happen two or three times, so just let it get on with it until it's done. This will only happen the first time the server is started. The server is now ready to use, and you can see its status being updated in the panel. Note the increase in CPU and memory usage. You can now connect to the Minecraft server and start playing.